Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm a math expert from St. Petersburg, Florida. And we're here to talk about how to understanding basic math. Now what you need in the strategies that we're about to cover are a pen, and pen or pencil, pen or pencil, a piece of paper, and a calculator, whether it be scientific or graphing. Now we're going to be talking about various strategies, but for each strategy, you might want to use those materials to understand how to reinforce the tools that we're about to talk about. So here we go. Now the first step when it comes to understanding basic math is definitely reinforcing your, your arithmetic. You have to go back to the fundamentals, the basic properties of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Every, a lot of things center around those four operations and it's really important that you understand what those four are all about. Before you understand the more advanced math operations, you want to get those four down. Decimals and fractions follow not too far behind. Now with decimals and fractions, they're a lot more important than what you might realize. With decimals, an easy way to think about them are use of money. Whether it be coins or dollar bills, decimals are used on an everyday basis. Same thing with fractions. When people cook, they end to use fractions, whether it be half, a quarter of a cup, or an eighth of a teaspoon, whatever it happens to be. But fractions are very integral as well, so it's definitely helpful to reinforce those tools. Once you have the arithmetic and the decimals and fractions down, it's very important to understand the basic geometry. Now, not to prove that one triangle is congruent to the other necessarily, but it's important when it comes to everyday skills, things like finding the area of common shapes, the perimeter around a house, for example, as well as that of circles and other common shapes that have geometric principles. So understanding the basic geometry ideas involving circles and triangles, etc., would be a good idea as well. And lastly, if you know you're going on to a higher math course or if you're majoring in something that requires advanced math, one thing to help understand basic mathematics is to understand the basic algebra, whether it be adding simple equations, understanding what variables are, maybe a little bit of exponent knowledge. But before you get to this particular step, it's very important that you get the three above, the arithmetic, the decimals and fractions, and the basic geometry before plunging into understanding what basic algebra is. But these are a few strategies to help you get started. And I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how you understand basic mathematics.